We're gonna get started in a second. What up, Shells? What up, Shells? What up, Shells? All right, we're gonna get started in a second, guys. Hang tight. I'm just letting some people in. Where is everybody from? Let me turn this down. Where is everyone from? Put it in the chat. I want to know where everybody is located geographically. Let me see something. What up? Oh, Detroit is in the building. The muff, the mic is muffled. Does it sound bad? How does the mic sound? Let me make sure that I'm actually using this mic. Give me a second, guys. Audio. Yep. I'm on my mic. New Yitty, South Carolina, London. That's what's up. Okay, the mic's good now. Thank you, Chelsea. Uh, let me go live on Instagram. Give me a sec, guys. Oh, shit. I deleted Instagram. Nope. I got a dope stream for you guys tonight. I actually prepared for this one. I always prepared, but I, I prepared extra today. App Store. Yeah, I'm fumbling the bag right now. Okay. San Diego, CT, more England, Botswana. That's crazy. I want to go to I want to go to Africa so bad this uh, this summer. I don't know if I'll be able to make it happen, but definitely want to go to to Africa, the homeland that I've never been to. All right, let me switch. All right, we're about to get started in a second. Hold on, let me put the title of today's live on the screen. Here we go. Tips for effective exercise. I'm sorry. How to exercise for weight loss. That's that's the name of today's that's to, that's the name of today's live broadcast. There we go. How to exercise for weight loss. And I got some uh, I got some heat for you guys. Let me finish getting set up. Let folks trickle in. Go live on Insta. Go live on Insta. All right, mom. There we go. All right, so let me turn this music off. So here's the thing, y'all. There is honestly no, I'm not going to say there's no wrong way to exercise. But I don't want you to stress yourself out thinking too much about the details. I'm going to give you guys some information, a lot of information that's going to help you more, you know, train more effectively. Right. I definitely want you to train effectively. But I, I want you to I want to start off. And this is very intentionally. I want to start off by saying that it's about activity. At the end of the day, if you are walking, if you're doing 600 pound deadlifts, if you are chasing ducks in the park, I don't care what it is at the end of the day. It comes down to just being active and balancing your energy output versus your energy input. Calorie is a unit of energy. So when you when I refer when I say energy input, I mean how much food you're putting into your face. If you balance the amount of calories you eat with the amount of calories you expend, you're going to be in good shape. So just understanding that, right? Just understanding that is the is the first step, right? If you're on Instagram, I definitely want you to tap in with us on on YouTube. Candace, if you are, if you can put the link in the Instagram feed that way, because I have a more interactive setup, right? I'm gonna have stuff popping up on the screen, all of that, right? And I'll, and at the end, I'm gonna be taking questions on Instagram. So just giving you guys a heads up. All right, so now that the disclaimer is out of the way. Let's talk about why exercise is actually important for weight loss, right? Now, 
no matter what diet we're talking about, no matter what training style we're talking about, at the end of the day, weight loss, fat loss is about creating a calorie deficit, right? That's it's, it's always going to come down to creating a calorie deficit. And exercise is just one of a few ways to create a calorie deficit. Now, I'm not talking about bodybuilding. There is, there's so much. There, there's, I'm talking about specifically about fat loss. Obviously, it gets more complex when we talk about, you know, building muscle, when we talk about metabolic health, when we start talking about um, functional training, right? That's different. But at the end of the day, most of us, most people, and this was true for me in the beginning, it's not true anymore. I exercised because I wanted to add to my calorie deficit. That's that's why exercise is important when we're talking about weight loss, right? But different exercises affect your body in different way, different modalities, right? Cardio affects weight loss and affects your body one way, and weight training affects your body in a different way. Right. Steady state cardio affects your body one way and high intensity cardio affects your body in a different way. So it's important to understand the differences and, and understand um, which one you should be choosing based on your particular goals and your and your particular preference. And I'm going to go through I'm going to go through most of the main modalities. All right. <clears throat> Hold on. Let me check in the chat real quick. We got a lot of activity. Listen, if you're on Instagram, I want you to come over to YouTube. Join us on YouTube. I see some congratulations happening. I like guys, I'm not watching the chat, so please forgive me. Every every once in a while, I'll stop and I'll check out what's going on in the chat. All right. Okay. I appreciate you guys. Let's get the likes up on it on YouTube as well. Let's get the likes up. Somebody hold me down with asking everybody to like the video because that helps the algorithm. Okay. Now let's talk about the different types of exercises for weight loss. All right. Like I mentioned, your, there's your steady state cardio. Um, then there's your weight training, right? There's different types of cardio. There's, in, there's steady state cardio. There is um, interval cardio. And then there's hit, like high intensity car cardio. I'm not a fan of the high intensity stuff, but there are there are times where it's necessary. Um, I, I think and at this stage of my journey, I'm a steady state cardio guy. I make sure that I get 10 to 15,000 steps per day. And that is effective. I just made a video, guys, when I talked about some of the biggest mistakes that I made in my weight loss journey and me not really leveraging the imp the impactfulness and the power of walking was such a huge mistake. Walking is one of the most effective and underused weight loss tools there is. So if you are not using walking, if you're not walking, if you if you I used to think walking was an exercise. Put it in the chat if you felt that way before. Have you ever felt that walking wasn't a form of exercise? I cannot I can't be the only one. I cannot be the only one. Thank you, Mr. Mr. Uh, one Ham. Guys, hit the like button. Hit the like button. I appreciate y'all. If you're watching, if you watching on Instagram, I want you to come over to YouTube. We're live on YouTube as well. So thank you, guys. I'm going to be doing most of the interacting with the YouTube screen, just so you guys know. All right. Yes, my man, we the American people. He said he he used to think the same thing yep i used to think that too a lot of us we think that walking is not effective walking is super effective right now you know i tweaked my back the other day all i'm doing is walking and i'm still losing weight and i'm still feeling great i'm still you know it, it's effective it's and it's easy it's, it's the most accessible exercise there is use it get those 10 15 000 steps that it matters trust me it matters it definitely matters all right all right let me go back to the screen all right so another type of exercise obviously is weight training so now weight weight training it affects your body in a different way than than steady state cardio and walking right so the the main differences between cardio training and weight training is that with weight training it for one, it builds muscle, right? It helps you build muscle. And when you build muscle, it 
it improve it improves your metabolism it improves your metabolic health it it adds strength to your frame right now one of the main differences or another main difference i should say is when you're weight training your body's burning calories when you're doing cardio your body's burning calories but with cardio once you stop the calorie burn stops with weight training you're burning calories hours upon hours after your session because recovery it requires energy it, your body is still there's still functions happening that is requiring energy so that means your body is still burning fat there's still heat being created in your body for hours upon hours after your weight training session right so that's one advantage of of weight training a lot of you know i remember in the beginning you know of my journey i was i was intimidated by weights i didn't i didn't want to weight train because i was embarrassed i was comparing myself no learn how to weight train and even if it's not weights resistance training right because i've honestly starting to get away from weights and just use more body weight stuff but resistance training is super duper important um it increases your metabolism right muscle muscle is more metabolically active than fat right your body in order for at rest if you have more muscle on your frame let me let me give you guys this example right fat breaks when i was 360 pounds i was a i'm able to eat more calories now and maintain my weight than i was when i was overweight when i was 360 pounds because i have more muscle on my frame so now my body is is this it, my, like muscle creates this metabolic furnace in your body that destroys calories i can put some food away guys i can put three four thousand calories away i mean obviously if i get a good workout in and i you know have a lot of activity and it doesn't affect me i won't put on body fat because i have muscle mass so be intentional about um building muscle mass because it will help your metabolism significantly it will help your metabolism significantly like significantly like i said muscle has a more metabolic effect than fat right it, it, it requires more energy so yes definitely weight trained um and women let me talk to the women real quick because i hear a lot of women saying oh i don't want to get bulky you're not going to get bulky you can't get bulky by mistake it's, it just doesn't happen that way women should be weight training as well women should be weight training should be training upper body as well not just legs work your whole body right um now it's important to do both right because obviously with weight with uh cardio it's for cardio health right it, it's your heart is a muscle as well it's one of it's the important most important muscle that you have and when you do steady state cardio when you do all types of cardio it, it exercises the heart muscle as well as burn calories so it's important right that's important i just explained to you guys why weight training is important right creates the metabolic uh affecting your body it's important this stuff can get it can get complex right and i understand so so for me right one of the and I'm, I'm thinking back to the the video i just made another one of the biggest mistakes that i made was i did not have the support right i i was so confused because this is a lot of information i understand that the information can be conflicting you can watch a video that says this you can watch a video that says that if I would have if I would have been smart, I would have hired a coach earlier in my journey or I would have connected to a community of some sort. If you're in position right now to hire a coach, I'm currently taking on online coaching clients. Go to brickstraining.com if you want to work with me one on one. You go there, you sign up for uh, you do a quick little questionnaire and you sign up for a discovery call. And that's when I decide if I want to work with you or not because I don't just take on any client. I, I want to make sure that I am working with people who I can win with. So if you're ready to commit to the process, you're not, I don't, listen, with all due respect, do not sign up for a call if you're not, if you know you're not ready to commit, because I'm not gonna get on that phone trying to convince you, none of that. This is to sign you up because you're ready, point blank period. And like I said, I. I'm, I'm at the place in my career where I fortunately can be a little choosy with who I work with, but go to brickstraining.com and sign up for a discovery call if you are looking for some support 
you're looking to be plugged into a system. BricksTraining.com. Thank you, Bricks. I didn't write that. That's Kimmy. Kimmy's on my account. Click that link right there. Click that link right there. Sign up for a discovery call. All right. So <clears throat> now, like I said, the combination of both cardio and weight training is by far the most effective um, approach, right? And again, it doesn't have to be weight training. When I say weight training, I mean resistance training. Uh, it can be body weight. You could do push-ups and pull-ups and squats and dips. You you don't have to necessarily train with weights, but you have to have some sort of resistance uh, to build strength and to build muscle with, right? Now, how often should you exercise for weight loss? This, you know, this is a question that a lot of people struggle with. Am I doing it enough? First of all, if you're in the beginning stages of your weight loss journey and you haven't been consistently working out, I want you to treat exercise. I want to treat I want you to treat exercise like you're in a court Yo, can you guys hear me on the mic? Put it in the chat if you hear me on the mic. I don't know how my uh, cord just popped out. Oh, that's what, okay. I'm back. My bad, y'all. My bad. Can you hear, you guys can hear me now. All right, good. My bad. I don't know how, I don't know how much of that job y'all missed, but anyway, I was saying that, um, how often should you exercise um, in the beginning, right? If you haven't been consistent with, with, with exercise for at least a year, you don't want to overdo it, right? You, you, wanna, you want to introduce your body to exercise in a very strategic way. You don't want to overwhelm yourself. You shouldn't be working out so hard that you're sore. It doesn't, that doesn't support you creating a healthy uh, bond with the experience of exercise. In the beginning, I think you should focus mainly on, on your nutrition and try to minimize and slowly get your body into exercise. Maybe starting off with just walks, right? Or maybe starting off with just doing two to three days per week in the gym, right? Where you're just doing 30 minute workouts, right? Maybe a little bit of cardio, a little bit of weights, 15, 20 minutes each, go home. Don't overdo it in the beginning. Like I use the analogy, you want to you want to court exercise, right? When you first start dating somebody, you're not going to ask them to marry you on the first date. No, but a lot of us, we do the equivalent of that with exercise. We haven't been exercising for years. And now all of a sudden we want to work out two days, uh, two hours a day for six days a week. No, do not do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it, guys. Don't do don't do that. Do not do that. Be smarter than that, guys. Ease your way. Yo, pace is such an important thing to think about when you're approaching weight loss. You want to do everything at a sustainable, realistic pace. You don't want to overwhelm your body. You don't want to overwhelm your mind. You don't want to turn your entire life upside down. That's not going to support you. That's not going to support uh, longevity. It's not going to support sustainability. So when you find yourself getting discouraged, maybe you need to turn the intensity down a bit. And this is specifically for people who who are in the beginning stages. I Obviously, after exercise becomes a habit and you got it and you've been consistent for a year, for two years, for three years, then you can push yourself. Then I want you to push yourself, right? But in the beginning, you want to be strategic. You want to be smart. Like, yo, let me 
let me train my mind to fall in love with this. That way I can deal with a little pressure. I can deal with a little intensity. Right. But if in the beginning you're doing burpees and sit ups and you hate your life and you can't breathe. And every time you look at a gym, your stomach hurts. That's not going to help you be consistent. That's not going to help you sustain this lifestyle. You got to be smarter than that. You have to learn from your past. Don't keep making the same mistakes. Be strategic. Court exercise. Say, hey, exercise, what's up? Yeah, don't, don't, don't double text exercise. Don't sit on your phone waiting for exercise to text you and then you text back 20 seconds later. No. Chill, bro. Let it come to you. Do it, you know, do it a few times per week, like once or twice. Hey, what up? And I'm doing, I'm, I'm going to kick it with you for 30 minutes, but then I'm going back home because I got a life. Let it happen organically. Don't jump right into bed. Don't just give yourself, don't give your, your body to exercise. Let it earn it. <laughs> don't be a, a gym ho. <laughs> Hopefully that analogy is landing, guys. But all right, so. Here's the thing now. Now let's 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 tr let's transition to um let's transition to a, a, a more practical. So that that was the response for people who are brand new, right? But if you're trying to determine how many times, how often you should be exercising, for one, you should consider your schedule. What is your schedule like? How much you know, how much time can you realistically dedicate to the gym? Another thing you want to consider. How how much wiggle room do you want to have with your nutrition, right? Because if you if you have a super if you're if you're hitting your calorie mark, right, and you're considering your calorie intake based on the amount of times that you can commit to exercise, right? You can have if you exercise a little bit more, you can eat more, right? So you want to be you want to be mindful of that. If you exercise a little bit more, you can eat more, right? But I think a good pace for the beginner to intermediate level uh, gym goer is three or four times per week in the beginning, three to four times per week and make and making sure that even on days that you're not in the gym, you're active, you're getting 10,000 steps. What's up, Dre Harden? Thank you for the super chat, bro. I definitely want to shout him out. We appreciate you, Bricks. The motivation and insight are more valuable than, you actually, than your actual workout programs. Wow. He just dissed my workout program. No, I'm just kidding. I appreciate you, brother. Thank you. That's love. That's love. Guys, I'm taking on online coaching clients. A matter of fact, I got a few of my clients on the live right here. Chelsea, she's one of my star clients. She kick, she's kicking ass right now. If if I have if any more of my online coaching clients are in the building, whether that's on Instagram or on YouTube, say what up. I love you guys. I had a call with most of my clients yesterday, man. We, we they, yeah, I love, I love being an online coach. I love being an online coach. If you want me to, if you want to work with me, go to brickstraining.com. Let me put this. Oh yeah, it's right there on the screen. Go to brickstraining.com. Sign up for a discovery call, but only sign up for the call if you're ready. I don't want to work with you if you got to, if I, if you're not ready, I understand it. We got Ron. Ron is on the call. Uh, Ron is on the live. My man, Ron, one of my coaching clients is here. Chelsea is here. Look, oh, there he go. My man, Ron Stoppable. My man. Word. Okay, let's continue. Hold on. Now, some tips for effective exercise for weight loss. Again, I'm gonna speak to I'm gonna speak to the beginners first. Make sure you're prioritizing form. Don't ego lift. Make sure you master the form or at least feel really comfortable that your form is on point before you start trying to lift heavy ass weights. Leave your ego at home. Humble yourself. Trust me, because these weights will humble you. I'm, I'm speaking to my dudes who want to throw 315 on the bench or, or want to squat 
you know, 285 and you just you're just getting into the gym because you see the dude in the cage next to you squatting 285. Don't do it to yourself. It's OK to lift lightweights. You know, I learned and I'm going to give you guys a quick a quick story. I used to live in Hollywood, so I used to go to the Ghost Gym Hollywood and I would see these big old swole buffed bodybuilder dudes and they were lifting little little lightweights and they were just doing high reps. That's it. They didn't, they didn't care what they looked like. They was in there just curling 15 pound dumbbells over and over and over again. Listen, you got to stop caring what people think. You got to stop. You, you cannot bring your ego because honestly, nobody is, is even looking at you. Nobody's looking at you. I, listen, I remember feeling that way. It was all a figment of my imagination. I would get on machines backwards and I would think, yo, they, everyone must think I'm an idiot. Nobody even noticed. I'm positive nobody noticed. Everybody is too worried that somebody else is watching them. So it's just, yeah, anyway, <laughs> make sure you master your form. Form is important. Do not neglect form. And another thing, another tip for uh, effective exercise, I, I would prioritize quality reps over quantity, right? I don't care if you can do 20 reps, but they're not really good quality form reps. I would, I would rather you do five quality reps than 20 terrible reps. Quality over quantity, 100%. Quality over quantity. And I and I do advise you to go into the gym with a plan. Is there's something about mental there's something mentally um it's something about having a plan that locks you in mentally. There's something about following a plan that it, it just feels secure. It feels like you have structure. It feels like you have guidance. There's tons of plans online. I, I give away, I have a video where I teach you how to make your own workouts, right? But if you don't want to think about that, you don't want to work it, make your own plan. Let me make your plan for you. Let me make your plan for you. Go to brickstraining.com. Hire me as a coach. If you are ready. And I will make your plan. You get a customized meal plan. You get a customized workout program. You get access to me via messenger, right? Where I check my messages at least two to three times per week. Get the support that you need, guys. Get the support that you need. Programming is important. You know, knowing how many calories you should be consuming is important. Having the accountability to make sure, you know, to having someone to answer to, right? My clients got to send me, there's stats every week. Some of them I asked to, for them to send me pictures every single week. And knowing that, it guides their decision-making throughout the week. And if they have a question, if they feel stuck, they can reach out to me. I'm able to help them through it. All right, so go to brickstraining.com and sign up for a, a call if you need the support. Okay, Marva, finally, you, you've been supporting me for a while. She's finally about to work with me. I'm speaking that into existence. Listen, guys, bless me with the opportunity to work with y'all. I love coaching. This is what I this is what I was born to do. I love being able to, to say, listen, I was a part of this person's transformation. I don't know. There's something about it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right. Um, now, I'm going to take some questions. So I'm going to be I'm going to let Kimmy um, moderate. So please help me because I can't keep up with all the messages on both platforms. Instagram, I'm looking at the screen from time to time. So if you guys have questions on Instagram, I uh, will answer them. All right. So put them in the chat now if you have questions. Uh, hopefully this was helpful. I appreciate you, uh, Stephen Cherry. Much love, bro. What are your thoughts on sugar-free energy drinks while trying to lose weight? How bad are they really? Listen, bro. 
I will crush an energy drink. I crush, I drink about three energy drinks a month, sometimes more. Am I going to advocate and say that they're healthy? No, but sometimes you got to do what you got to do. It's, it's, there's no calories. It gives you energy. I'm pretty sure there's a bunch of chemicals in there, but hey, you know, I'm not, again, I'm not saying that they're healthy, but they, they, they will help you lose weight. That's a fact. Don't abuse them though, obviously. Don't abuse them. All right, Jason, the the house says one form of car of one form or cardio better than another for weight loss. No. Cardio is cardio is cardio. You know, high intensity cardio just taxes a different uh energy system. It, you know, but the one the one that's better for weight loss is the one that you can enjoy the most that you can do consistently. That's my that's my uh, response to that. The one that you can enjoy the most, the one you can sustain, is the one you should be doing. All right, is there a certain day of the week you should start your weight loss journey? No, start right now. I don't care if it was. I was going to try to combine the name of two days of the week, but that would have been terrible. But yeah, I don't, it doesn't matter what day it is. Don't start Monday. Don't start on the first start now and start where you are. Do 10 pushups right now. All right. Let's see if we got another question. What about supplements for, be for beginners? Are they necessary? Supplements are not necessary. They're never necessary. Do supplements help? Yes. But they, you, they, the, the, the term itself gives you exactly what it is, right? It should be a supplement to the things that you need. So if you have a deficiency in something, you should supplement. It's hard to get enough protein, so I supplement with protein, right? That's really, like, I, the only real, the, the other supplements I use is ashwagandha and black seed oil. I'm not a big, um, I don't use creatine. I don't use, I don't, any of the other stuff, to be honest. But if it helps you do your thing, if you have the budget for it, do your thing. But just know that it's not absolutely necessary. All right. All right. Sometimes I get discouraged. I feel like the skill isn't moving even when following my macros and work working out. I can see inches and I know I'm losing them, but body dysmorphia is real. Oh man, this is such a good um question, right? Any tips for that? I literally, Chelsea, matter of fact, I don't know if Chelsea was still here. My client, Chelsea, we literally just had a conversation about this. And this is what this is why I, I do not like the scale. Because of stuff like this. She says she is she can see that she's losing inches. She knows that she's losing weight. But because that stupid scale isn't, the number isn't going down, she feels discouraged. And that is a shame because here's the thing, your body can recomposition, meaning you can lose fat and put on muscle mass. And when you put on muscle mass, that's going to show up on the scale. Muscle is going to show up on the scale. I've seen transformations where people, you see their before and after, and you would think they lost 50 pounds. No, they lost 12 pounds, right? Or sometimes I've seen transformations where a person doesn't lose, lose any weight at all on the scale, but they lose body fat. They lose inches. Take your power back from that scale. The scale is, is, is elusive. So, yeah, use measurements. Use measurements. Use your body fat percentage. Don't um, put all of your your energy on the scale because, yeah, the scale is just not the, the most effective way to track your progress. It's just not. Do you have to completely avoid breads and pastas? Nope. You don't have to completely avoid anything. You have to understand your carb tolerance, right? I can get away with 250, 280 grams of carbs every day. Now, not all carbs... Right. Not all breads and pastas are created equal. You want to try to get um, low glycemic carbs. Right. You want to have brown pasta. You want to eat wheat bread. Right. You don't want to have whites because it spikes your insulin. But can you lose weight eating that stuff? Absolutely. 
Absolutely, you can, but I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't do too much of it, but you can still do it, but just in moderation. Just in moderation. Can stress cause a weight gain? Hell yeah. Cortisol, the stress, the stress hormone, cortisol will tear your ass up. It will tear you up. It will affect your sleep. It will affect your metabolism. Stress is the number one killer, guys. Get rid of that stress. And you're a little pushy. He's like, answer my question. Okay. Any advice for trying to minimize loose skin when losing a lot of weight? Um, I don't know. I haven't figured that part out. I guess, I guess it depends on how old you are. It depends on your genetics. It depends on how much weight you have to lose. My, my response to that, I guess is like slow weight loss would be better for, for that. But I don't know. I still have, I still have, um, I still have a lot of, not, not, not a lot, but I definitely have loose skin. All right, Bricks, how do you figure out your macros? You watch my macro figure figure out a video. I made a video about this. Or you hire a coach and you don't have to do it yourself. You go to brickstraining.com and you sign up for a discovery call and you hire me and I will just I will figure out your macros for you. But no, all jokes aside, I um I made a video explaining how to how to set up your calories, set up your macros. Just go to uh Go to my YouTube page and it should be there. All right. Um, hey man, I'm currently recovering from shoulder surgery. Is it real? It's and it's really impacting my fitness journey. Any advice? Walk. Just walk and don't overeat. Don't stress eat. Don't beat yourself up. You know, just walk. Take your, you know. Your shoulder injury should not affect your ability to walk. So walk and eat within your calorie requirements, for sure. All right. What does it mean when you sweat after your workout? After a workout? That means your metabolism, and most likely that happens after weights, right? Because your body is in recovery mode, and it's there's still a lot of metabolic activity happening. Right. So you're there's still heat being created in your system, which is still going to produce sweat. But as you get in better shape, that's going to stop. I actually, you know, it, it got to a point where I, I wouldn't even sweat during my workouts. I was tight because it made me feel like I wasn't working, which is some crap. That's another myth. Oh, if I'm not sweating, you're not working. That's not true. If you're moving, you're working. If your heart rate is increasing you're working if you're lifting heavy weights you are working so yeah that's that's a good thing but trust me it's gonna slow down this is for the people in the back i don't know what he's talking about but all right we should keep should we keep lifting to lose weight or mix it with cardio definitely want to mix you want to do both i would say do about 75 percent weight training or re resistance training and then uh about 20 percent 25% cardio. That's a nice little um, percentage split. Why do I yawn after some of my sets? That's a great question. I've, I've actually experienced that as well. You know what it is? Your body needs oxygen, right? That's really what yawning does. Like your body is asking you for oxygen, right? You're, you, you're tired. <laughs> so that's why you yawn after some of your sets. That, that, that means you're pushing yourself. Here we go. Hi, Briggs. Would you recommend training twice a day for maximum weight loss, like training opposite energy systems or opposite movements? <sighs> Another person. All right. I don't want to I don't want to judge you, bro. And I could be wrong. It sounds like you are trying to rush the process. I want you to do stuff that's sustainable. Are two a days effective? Yes. Will you tax your body more? Yes. Will you probably lose more weight in the short term? Yes. But is that sustainable? Is that what you want to do? You don't have to. You don't have to work out twice a day. That's I'm not the guy to bring this sort of energy to because I'm I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna ever encourage this. I'm never gonna encourage this. 
It's not sustainable. It's just not. All right. So everybody on Instagram, I am answering questions from YouTube. So if you want to pop over to YouTube and get your question answered, I would appreciate that. Much love. All right. I'm working out lifting to muscle failure, I think. But I don't feel growth, soreness in the muscle. Any tips? You don't have to necessarily feel sore. But here's the thing. In order to grow, especially if you're not a newbie, if, you're, if you've been lifting for a while, you have to make sure that you're getting enough calories and you're getting enough sleep. And your resting schedule is just as important as your training schedule. schedule. Sam, what are you doing? This is one of my coaching clients. Sam, you pay me enough money every month. You don't have to you don't have to super chat me. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. But come on, girl. Sam. God damn it, Sam. I love you. Thank you. Brick Squad, we got this. Keep up the great work, Bricks and Kimmy. Thanks for all the advice, motivation, and patience. It means a lot. You're gonna make me cry, girl. Thank you. All right. Um my, oh man. My family. You guys are my family. I appreciate y'all so much. Thank you so much. Why did that just make me emotional? Little bitch, little bitch. You should you should try you should train as much as your daily lifestyle allows where you will be will you will be habitual. Good, good, good um advice. Good advice, humble bread maker. All right, I'm going to grab another question. If you can only work out two times a week, that's better than going and, and saying you'll work out five days and not doing it. Exactly. Slow and steady wins the race, guys. Slow and steady wins the race. And you know what else helps with consistency? Accountability. Get accountability. Get a workout partner. Go to BricksTraining.com. Sign up for a discovery call. I'm currently taking on clients and my clients are winning. My clients are winning. Shout out to you, Sam. Shout out, shout out to Chelsea was here. Shout out to Ron. Ron was here. I love my clients. I love them. I love them. I love them. They are kicking. They motivate me. All right. My original comment got lost here, but do you think intermittent fasting is okay? I'm starting the gym again after years and want to incorporate it. Is it okay? Yes. I'm an advocate for intermittent fasting. I, I don't use intermittent fasting for weight loss, but it, there's all types of all types of physiological benefits to intermittent fasting. Um, and it's a it's it's a it's a good weight loss tool for sure. But only intermittent fast if it doesn't affect your energy levels in the gym. And it's something that kind of fits organically into your lifestyle. Right. Intermittent fasting is not for everyone, but it's definitely for me. Philip Carroll, just to make you more emotional. Come on, man. My man, Phil, I appreciate you guys. I help him stay. Man, look, I'm getting goosebumps. You guys are the best. Thank you for the super chats. God damn it. I got to stop this. My, my man. Humble, humble bread makers, a 90 day transformation client. Let's go. Oh man, it's so much love in here right now from my clients. Ah, sheesh, y'all. Brooklyn Church Ave is in here. Okay, what up? I went to Erasmus. I went to Erasmus High School. Y'all, y'all, listen. Oh, anyway. Can calorie deficits. That lasts too long cause muscle loss. Great question. Yes. Um, but that's if the calorie deficit is too aggressive, right? If the if the deficit's too big and you're not getting enough protein and you're not getting enough sleep, then yes. But if you're getting enough protein, you're sleeping enough, and the calorie deficit isn't too aggressive, then you don't have to worry about it. 
you 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 won't lose you won't lose muscle that way. All right. But good question. Bricks, is there a good time to work out during the day? The best time to work out is the time that fits your schedule best. Whatever time your day allows and whatever time you feel the most motivated, you feel the most energized is the time you should be working out. <clears throat> Excuse me. I work nothing. I'm I'm a, I'm a little under the weather right now, guys. So you guys are giving me life. I appreciate that. All right. Uh, I work nothing but manual labor. So all of that isn't fat. Yeah, I must have missed the part. All right. How to lose belly fat with a bad back. Can't do ab exercises. You can't target. You cannot target. You can't spot reduce fat. It doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. You cannot spot reduce fat. What you have to do is create a calorie deficit. That's how you lose belly fat. That's how you lose fat in general. My man said, if I tell you a duck can't pull a truck, <laughs> what? Then call Briggs and set that call up. Bars. Let's go run with the bars. <laughs> Much love, bro. What days do I hit cardio? In steady state. It doesn't matter. I mean, not that it doesn't matter, but that's I don't know enough to, to give you a response to that. How much weight should I lose? I'm 245, 6, 5, 6 to be lean. I would have to know what your body fat percentage is to give you a suggestion. I see you, Breaks. Mm -hmm. My man. Thank you, brother. I see you too. All right, what days do I hate? Oh, yeah, I just answered that. All right, y'all. I'm about to get off this. I appreciate y'all. Again, Get the support you need. Even if you don't hire me, here's the thing, guys. Even if you don't hire me as a coach, I, I speak about coaching. I'm an advocate for coach. I hire coaches. If there's an area in my life that I need improvement, if I need accountability, if I need support in, I hire a coach. So even if you don't hire me, hire a coach. It makes the journey at least 20 times easier when you have the wisdom. If you're going to hire a coach, make sure you hire somebody who knows what they're doing. Please don't just hire, you know, anybody, but hire a coach. Accountability is key, guys. Accountability is vital. You need accountability. You need community. You need structure. You need a system that is proven to work. You need somebody to bounce stuff off of when you reach sticking points. Don't try to do it by yourself. Do not try to do it by yourself. All right, guys, I got to go. Peace. Love.